Good morning, I'm Jennifer Bayless. We are excited to welcome Jamie Keith with the Louisville Organizing Arts Group and Kiana Dell, the Director of Communications with the Louisville Jazz Initiative, to talk about an upcoming and very important event honoring Ken Clay, one of the founding authors of Two Centuries of Black Louisville. It is always exciting to talk about him. Thanks for joining us, ladies. What is this event all about, Jamie? Actually, this event is an opportunity for us to start an inaugural award called the Ken Clay Renaissance Award, and it initiated by us just wanting to in the Louisville Organizing Arts Group, which is a, I say, a brief conglomerate of art artists, uh, people that support the arts community, mm -hmm. and like-minded individuals who want to continue to recognize those that have made prolific uh, efforts in the in the arts community. And Ken's Clint, a, a pretty big guy. Yes, I he mean, is. He's he's covered all of it. I mean, he's been uh, the founder of uh, the Midnight Ramble series, mm -hmm. also doing things in the community still to day, uh, not just the um, World Fest, but individual events that will give opportunities for other upcoming artists and those that are just maybe not as well recognized mm -hmm. in our community, an opportunity to perform. As a matter of fact, that's a wonderful segue for Kiana, who can talk about what's going to go up on that night. Yeah, let's, let's talk about <laughs> this big event. Yes, we're kind of picking up the torch uh, that Ken passed to the next generation of jazz musicians mm -hmm. here at the Louisville Jazz Initiative. Um, that's a part of our mission is performance and educating through music. Um, um, which is such a beautiful thing that Ken did. Um, so we will be playing some uh, jazz standards, some new music, and kind of showing how jazz has evolved through the years, and uh, especially so close to us here in Louisville. And some people don't realize how big jazz is in mm. Louisville. There's a huge jazz uh, group of people who love yes. that genre. Can you yes. talk to us about, if people don't aren't really aware of jazz, how yes. they can get involved? You're absolutely speaking my language. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, if you follow us um, on your favorite social media platform, Louisville Jazz Initiative, pretty much everywhere, um, that is built into the fabric of what we do, is creating awareness for young jazz musicians and um, existing jazz groups and jazz musicians, um, giving them the platform to play and um, showing people where they can connect with those musicians. And this event is for everybody. Even if you know nothing about jazz, you can yes. still come out to this event. Tell us a little yes. bit more about it. Actually, the event is going to be comprised of a course, the Louisville Jazz Initiative, who is mm -hmm. going to be there playing throughout the evening. We also have a couple of other guest artists, Dick Sisto and Tyrone Wheeler, who will be entertaining mm -hmm. us. And we have a lot of surprises. And so I'm sure Kim will probably watch this, so it won't go into that. <laughs> but uh, it will be a wonderful, robust evening, not just to honor him, but for him to also see those that have been supporting him over the years and attend a lot of the events that he actually puts together in the community yeah, as well. Ken is, is someone <laughs> I always describe as larger than life. Yes. And yes, always yes. doing something for somebody else. Yes. So Absolutely. come out and celebrate him. Here's the information. <laughs> for you about this upcoming event. It is Sunday, July 30th at the Muhammad Ali Center, which is amazing. If you've never been, you need to go to that uh, to the Ali Center and just walk in. It's an amazing facility. Doors open at 4 p.m. Show begins at 5. A great way to spend your Sunday evening. The event, of course, as we've been mentioning, is honoring Louisville's own Ken Clay. Tickets, general admission, $50. Uh, exclusive seating. Going to put you right up there, $65. Bucks. Anything else we need to know, ladies? about this jazz, fusion, and R&B. Going to be a great event for everybody. Family event. Absolutely. Uh, I think it's good for all ages, but I do also want to mention that we are going to have a youth event the day mm -hmm. before in honor of him. It's going to be an opportunity for children, especially in the Russell area, to come to the uh, Russell Theater, mm -hmm. which is going to be done in partnership with Faith Earth Studios, and they're going to do different disciplines of art, and then they are going to have their own performance and expo at the end of that. That's going to be from noon to five the day before, free event at the Russell Theater. All right, yeah. Jamie, Kiana, <laughs> anything else? Uh, yes, I just think if you've never explored Louisville's jazz scene before, this is yeah. going to be the perfect place to do it. Uh, no judgment. We really just want you to come <laughs> out and hear us. Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. ladies, best of luck. I'm excited about this jazz event. I uh, hope you'll come out.